Hello, hello everybody. How's it going? Sonia Badez here from Success Fitness. We're going to be doing a full body conditioning class today. You're going to need your mat, you're going to need some water, you're going to need some dumbbells, and if you have um, several different variety of dumbbells, like 5 pounds, 10 pounds, definitely grab all of them. Um, if you only have a set of water bottles with sand in them or um, soup cans, that'll do. Okay, so we're going to get started with a warm up. Are we ready? Give me a nice deep breath. Reach it tall. And exhale out. Ah, it's Friday. Inhale up. And exhale out. And again, one more time. And taking it back down. Let's roll the shoulders out. Nice big rotations. Yes? Woo! So, this is new. If you're doing this class live with me right now, Right? So if you've been up and about for a few hours, you've been eating, you hopefully fueled yourself nicely. We're going to hold it right here. Arms come out. We're going to circle those arms forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let's go back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back forward. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, let's go back. Here we go for eight, on the shoulders. Already warm, right? Three, two, and shake it out. We're gonna squat it down and up, ready? Down and up, down and up. Be careful not to get those knees past the toes. Anytime we do squats, anytime we do lunges, right? Your glutes go behind. Mind you, pressing into those heels, we should always wiggle those toes in the shoes. Can you still do that? If you can, that means you're still staying nicely in the heels. Two, last one, hold it right here. We're gonna get your butt, your butt, your heel to your butt, okay? Let's get those arms back. Good work. Right, nice strong arms. Pressing it back, heel to glutes. Let's take those hands out of the equation. Right behind, I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades. So nice posture. So really press in the back, hold it for eight, seven, yes, six, five, four more, three, two more. Shake it out. Let's hold it here. A little bit faster. Going right to the front. Yes. Come on. Breathing it out. Keep going. For four, three, two, circle it back, here we go. Come on, circle it back. Really try and stretch those arms out. Warming up those shoulders so you know what's coming. What's coming is that our shoulders are going to be work today. All right? Squat it down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Press your bum back, keep your chest lifted, always look in front of you, right? So we're not just hinging from the hips, so it's not looking like this. We're gonna squat down like you're trying to sit in a chair. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, butt kicks, here we go. Heel to the butt. Use those arms, right? So this whole purpose of this is just to get that heart rate just a tiny bit up. This is not to exhaust you by any means. This is just to get the mobility going, tune in with your body, see if there's anything particularly tight today, right? If there's anything that doesn't feel 100%, hands go behind your ears, squeeze the shoulder blades together, hold it right here for eight, seven, Six, right? So it's good to ground yourself with your body. Four more. Woo! Three, two. Hold it right here, hold. Marching it out, arms come out. We're gonna do that one more time. Circle those arms, eight counts forward, ready? Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and circle it back. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, squat it down. Here we go. Up. Down and up. Press those hips forward. Yes. Woo. Eight more. Here we go. 
for eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, two more, butt kicks, here we go, heel to the bum, yes, stretch those arms back, all right, so the issue when we're having with sound is that I'd love to crank the music for you, but then you can't really hear me, um, vice versa. So I think the best thing to do is that you can hear me, because you want to hear your, your technique, your form, corrections, anything that I can kind of give you in regards to information, but crank out your music maybe on your end as well, right? And sometimes certain classes, the music works better than others. Okay, good job. Four, three, and shake it out. Good work. Let's take one leg up, stretching out those quads. Find your balance. Okay, you should be okay here. Press those knees slightly back. If you need something to hang on to, hang on to a wall, hang on to a chair. Breathe. Let's take the other side up. And again, we don't want to spend a lot of time stretching after we're just warmed up, right? So just basically just tuning in with the body and moving right on, yeah? Woo, we like to move on. Just move on. All right, shake it out. We're going to start with your lighter weights. So that could be your water bottles um, or whatever you can, okay? And usually we don't really know what we're needing until we're there. We're going to do a squat with a one-arm press and then a squat of a arm press. We're going to do 45 seconds and we're going to take 15 seconds and then we're going to punch it out for 45 seconds with or without weight. So this is, again, completely up to you. We're going to do three sets of this. Are you ready? Set and go. Squat, press, squat, press. Right? We want to get those muscles in there. Let's go. And again, on your squat, remember what I just said in the warm up. Sit back in those heels. Down and up. 30 more seconds. Pressing it down. Working upper and lower body. The minute we combine the two, it's going to be a calorie torching workout. Yeah? Come on, press it up. Press it up, we have 15 more seconds. Come on, push, and press, and press. Woo, you can do this workout any day. It doesn't have to be today, right? One more, and hold it right here. If you wanna drop the dumbbells for the punches, you can do that. 10 seconds, we're gonna go into the punches. If you don't want the 15 seconds in between, you could just go right into it. It's up to you. Almost tucked in. Ready? We're going to punch it up and go. Punch it up. Right? So we're going to punch a little bit more diagonally here. So it's not just here. We want to go a little bit higher and get that whole body into it. Yeah? Come on. Let's go. And again, don't just punch it out with no control. We want to think about already, and on the extension, already think pulling back. Pulling back. So we have full control over that number. Okay? We got this, right? 15 seconds. Come on. Power it up. So we're going to do three sets of this. So we're going to go right back into your squat overhead press. Okay? Five more seconds. Four, three, two. Good. Hold it here. Shake it out. Change weights if you need to. Right? So if it's getting too tough or it's too easy, this is the time to do it. Arms at 90, squat and press, in four, three, two, and go. Down, power it up, power it up. Yeah, down, power, power, woo, let's do this. Right? If you need to drop your weights and just do it without the resistance, right? Go for it. 20 seconds. Your workout. You adjust. 15 seconds. Ah. 10 seconds. Five seconds. And time. Punching it back out. 45 seconds, a little 15 second breather in between. Yes? Keep holding it. Make sure you're resting this. All right. Crank the music on my end. Ready, set. Let's go. Notice I go faster? Or touch it up. So this also will depend on the weights you have. If you have more weights, then I definitely want you to go faster. Right? If you do have weights, you might have to focus 
one way you might. You want to focus more on your technique and pulling it back. Fifteen seconds. Woo! Yes. So close. Four, three, two, one more set. Shake it out. Squat and press. You're with me, right? It's so much fun. It's Friday. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. Down. Woo! Ha! Ha! Hold it 
here. Ten more seconds. Woo! Legs on fire. Ah, four, three, two, push ups. Back down. One push up with the opposite hand. We're going to grab it. Right? Get ready. In five, four, three, two. Let's go. One push up. Grab it with the opposite hand. One push up. Grab it with the opposite hand. Yes? Grab it with the opposite hand. Right? It's in your core. So we're in a semi plank position. Now, if you can do this on your toes, go for it. Good. Take it over. The nice thing about the dumbbell underneath your hand is actually keeps your wrists in a nice little neutral position. Okay? Ten more seconds. Ah! Last four. Three, two, and time. Good work. Grab your dumbbells. Back to that low squat into your bicep curls. Legs go nice and wide. Shoulders down and back. Dumbbells to the front, yes? Lower down. Here we go. Curl and down. Now give me a rotation with this. Up, narrow. Yeah? So rotating into it. Rotate into it. Rotate. Rotate. Yes? Sit back. How low can you go? 20 seconds. We got this. Good. Try not to lean over, okay? We don't want to harm that back or feel uncomfortable in the back. We're going to sit in that chair. Yes? Up and down. Up and down. Woo! Legs on fire. Last one. And release. One more set. Push up. Take that dumbbell over to the other side. Okay? Are we ready for this? In four, three, two, and up. Take it over. Ah. Take it over. Grab it. Whoops. Did it wrong again. <laughs> Every time. This is easier. Alright? And then grab it. Right? That's what makes it work. But depending on the weight you have, right? If you're sliding or lifting, that'll also make a change in how easy or hard this is. So keep it controlled. Other hand. Woo! Other hand, last one. Yeah! Bicep curls. Woo! All right, low squat in five seconds. Legs out. Ready? Here we go. Curl. 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 Extend those arms. Curling with the rotation. Yes. Sit back in that chair. Curl it up. Curl it up. Woo! You're still with me, right? Come on. Are you sweaty? Yes, you are. 15 seconds. Burn. Woo! Four. Three. Two. And one. Now go to the side. Woo! Keep your feet moving. Grab some water. Good job. All right, I'm gonna change it. Okay. I'm gonna do a burpee. Because we love burpees. But we're gonna add a whole bunch of stuff into it. <laughs> Just to make it more interesting, right? So, you're gonna do a tricep push up, which means we're gonna be nice and narrow. So, you're gonna be right here. Nice and narrow. One tricep push up, burpee, power it up. Then 
right back down. Nice and narrow, right? Nice and narrow. So we're working the back of the arms this time, your triceps. Okay, so that's your burpee. If you overhead press, then we're gonna go to a bend over row. You could go a little bit heavier here. We're gonna roll it, take the dumbbells to the shoulder, one squat, then reset, roll it, and squat, okay? Ready? Let's start low. Tricep, push up in four, three, two, let's go. Tricep, pop it, press it up, yes? Pop it back, tricep. Pop it up. Woo! Tricep. Take it up, watch your back. Notice I jump. Narrow in, then jump wide so I can use my legs, not my lower back, yeah? Saving everything, my knees, my lower back. Do what you can, no impact. No impact down. And time, good job. We're gonna come back up. We're gonna go into that bend over row. So you could go a little bit heavier here into a squat, yes? Whew. Catch my breath. Ready, set, hinge, and go. Row, flip it to the shoulders, squat, reset, hinge, row, flip it to the shoulders, squat, yes? Reset, row, flip it, squat, and reset. And reset. Right? So it takes a little bit of thinking. Woo! Squat. And reset. Hinge it. All your weight in your hips. Squat. And reset. Time. Right back to burpees. With the tricep push up. So let's start from the bottom. Right? So we get our dumbbells set up. Woo! And that way it gives us a little breather. <laughs> All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, and go. Tricep. Pop it. Press up. It's not about speed. Tricep. Press up. Woo. Tricep. Press up. Oh my goodness, am I hot? Woo! Make sure you land in those dumbbells nice and evenly beside each other. Right? So otherwise, your tricep push up. Gonna feel funny. Last one. Good work. Dumbbells to the side. Boy, use the same weight that you have. Back to the hinging. Into the row. Into the clean. Not the press. Alright? In four, three, two, ready, here we go. Row, squat, reset. Row, squat, reset. So now a little bit more of a swing, right? Into that squat and reset. And again, row, swing and squat. Yeah, so it becomes one motion. Row, swing and squat. Woo! Bend and row. Swing and squat. Five more seconds. Come on, we got one more. Ah! And release. Last set. Try some push ups. Woo! You're good? Five, four, three, two, and go. Try that push up. Pop it up. Press it. Woo. Yeah. So, so long as we have good technique, we can. Speed it up a little bit, right? But 
And if we feel we're losing our form and the technique, you want to slow it down. Woo! Almost there. Last one. And time. Good. Back to the row. Clean. No press. There is such a thing as clean press. So we're kind of doing a half row. Ah, ready? In four, three, two, let's go. Hinge, roll, swing, shoulder, squat, reset. Hinge, roll, swing, squat, reset. Now try to make it that swing and squat. One motion, yeah? Reset. Row, swing. And up, yeah? So using a little bit more core there. Okay, so swing into the squat. Yes? And again, down. Swing into the squat. Woo! Last one. And time. Dumbbell down. Grab yourself some water. We're not done. And we're gonna continue. New stuff again. Okay, we're going to do a forward lunge with a lot of weight. Now again, if you have soup cans, water bottles, 5 pound weights, 10 pound weights, whatever that weight may be, you may now need to adjust it a little bit. It's really important that in between these sets, we get a little bit of a breather so that we come back into that next set with good energy, a little bit of recovery, and not so much that we're losing the momentum into that fat burning component of your workout as well. Okay? So I definitely suggest a little bit lighter, because as soon as we're gonna go shoulders, you wanna go a little bit lighter, yeah? So maybe this is a time to grab your soup cans, and from there, we're gonna go front base, so just slide out of the way, so it's not gonna get in my way. Shoulders down and back, lunging it forward, so what it looks like is right here, lateral, and then the other side, okay? Four, three, two, let's go. Down, raise, other side. Down, other side. Down, and I do separate these two moves versus going down right into the raise. Now the key with the lateral raises is that we're gonna go shoulder level, and it's like, your palms are staying level with the floor, right? What we don't want is this, do this, yeah? Okay, down, lateral. Don't lock your elbows, keep them straight, but not locked. Woo, down. And time, shake it up. Palms up, we're gonna go front raises with your palms. Facing upwards, so not here, but we don't want to use Palms are facing forward. Shoulders down and back. Ready? Let's go. Again, I keep my arms nice and straight. So not here, right? Straighten them out. Straighten them out. We're going to go a little bit higher than shoulders, but not a lot. Face of making nose height. Don't get your body swinging into it. Hold it. Notice I soften those knees up, right? Yeah? Woo! 15 seconds. We got this. Come on. Work those arms. Arms look good in a nice little dress or a little tank top. Yeah? One more. And then for all the guys, right? You go shirtless. You feel nice and confident. Lunge it forward with the lateral raises. Shake it out. Five, four, three, two, and go.
Woo! You never lost it, did you? You maintained, you can be proud of yourself. Right, so that's what it takes, is the dedication to stick to this. It's not a once a week thing. You gotta mix it up, you gotta like it. And maybe you have to learn to like it, and that's okay too. Last one. And time. Palms are facing up, front raises, right? Soften those knees as soon as we're in a standing position. We want to help you lower back. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Good posture. Right, and let me get here. Yeah, up right. Woo! Yeah! Come on. Now again, depending on the weights you have, you could have to rock some your hands, right? We get very creative. Come on, press it. Press it. Woo! My sweat stripping down my face. Then roll into my eyes and then make a burn. And then what? When I can't see. Ten more seconds. Good job. Pressing it up. Five, four, three, two, and time. You got one more set, I promise. This is your last round. Well, last round for this. <laughs> All right. Whew. Front lunges, lateral raises in four, three, two, and go. So notice that some workouts, we do two sets. Some workouts, we do three sets, right? So today's workout is your full body conditioning, three sets of everything. Where some workouts, two sets, you can up to three to make it an hour workout or more, yeah? Woo! Bend that back leg! Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. And time. Back to the front raises. Woo! I got a bit of some. Keep it up there. 
You want to work that lower body at the same time. It's all about upper and lower body today combined. Yeah? That's why we tend to sweat a little bit more. And push. Ten more seconds. And press. And press. Last one. Good. We're going to have a seat. We're going to keep one of your dumbbells. V position. You can have your feet on the ground or off the ground. We're going to take that dumbbell hip to hip. And I mean hip to hip. Ready, set, and go. When I say hip to hip, it's really important because you're all at different levels. That if we go floor all the way down, make sure that your back is okay with that. Okay? Hip to hip keeps us just a little bit safer. Okay? A little harder. Feet come off the ground. Sit on the meaty part of the bum. Ah, burn, baby, burn. Ten more seconds. We got this. Four, three, two, and time. Lying back down. Bridge position. Back to your skull crushers. Second round. Feet dig in. Hips lift up. Make sure your elbows stay nice and square. Lots to think about. Ready? Set and go. Work in the back of the arms. Getting everything into today. We've got your legs in there, shoulders in there, biceps and triceps in there. Your core, your glutes, your lower back. Yeah? We got everything in there today. Chest and back. Everything. Did we miss anything? Maybe we didn't isolate a couple different muscles, like your calf muscles. If you're still working when you're doing lunges. Did we um, isolate your rhomboid postural type muscles? Well, kind of, right? So there is postural type exercises that are a lot more isolated, right? Two more. Last one. Good, be sit. Again, take it to your level. Grab that dumbbell. Sitting back, shoulders down and back, watch that posture. Feet up or down and go. So you can go a little bit faster like me, or you can take it right controlled into slow ones. If that's too much, take the dumbbell out and just do it with no resistance. Still difficult, keep going, don't no, stop. Still difficult to do because as soon as we're here, guess what? The core has to work really hard just to keep you in that position, and it better be working hard to support that lower back. 15 more seconds. Ah. Woo. Come on. Push it. Four, three, two, and time. Lying back down, last set. Ah. Come on, we're almost 40 seconds, 40 minutes in, this is good, time is flying, right? Bridge position, arm up, arms up, ready? Let's go, dip it down. I honestly, I'm a big fan of 45 minute classes, especially if we work hard. I think it's a good format, 45, even 50 minutes, but sometimes 60 minutes, um, the only reason why I would suggest a 60 minute class is because you're spending a lot more time on the warm up and you're spending a lot more time on the stretching. Right? So, 60 minute classes can really do work well too. Or if it's a combination class, let's say you're doing something like spinning and strengthening, then those classes are great. But when we're doing this full body conditioning or we're moving all the time, right? 45 minutes are awesome. Good. Four, three, two, and one. V sit. And depending on the hardness of the class, right? Sometimes 45 minutes, like, yeah, that's all I could handle anyway. <laughs> no, so I'll do more. All right, V part of the bum, leaning back, V sit, ready? Hip to hip. Watch your form and technique. Good job. 
You can't run press into it. If that bothers you, lower back. Come up a little bit more upright. Right? Get the core engaged, but maybe not quite as lean back. Keeping it safe, a little bit safer and protecting it more if you need to. Just be gentle on that rotation. Right? That's the key. So even with my back, I can come right low down so long I'm very protective over how far I rotate. And time. Yeah. Okay. We're going to stay on the mat. If you need some water, it's a good time to get some. We're going to finish up. we got about four more minutes. So we're going to not go ahead and mess around over here. Grab your lighter dumbbells or your water bubbles or nothing. Totally fine with nothing here. Dumbbells get right above your chest. Legs go straight up. We're going to come into a crunch position and we're going to alternate dropping the legs up, staying in that crunch. Okay? Not yet. <laughs> Give yourself a little breather. Whew. Ready? In five seconds, push that lower back down. Legs up. And go. Keep that crunch position. Chin tucked in. If this gets too tiring, drop your head down right until you're ready to resume back into it. Down and lift. Keep your shoulders lifted. Come on. Good. And press. We got this, right? Good. 15 seconds. Uh, really want to lift from the shoulders. Make those upper abdominals work here at the same time. Go and actually be nice and safe. If anything, it's just your neck that's going to get tired. And time. We're going to turn you around. Elbows down on your knees while on your toes, plank position. We're going to go up, up, down, down, alternating. Ready? In four, three, two, and go. Up, up, switch arms. And if you're not sure what I'm doing here, right? So all I'm doing is I'm switching up, up, down, down. Yeah, we got that, right? Takes a little bit of coordination. Keep going, right? If you're unsure, you can always do four on one side and then four on the other side. 15 more seconds. Woo! And time. Let's turn it around. Right back to the leg drops. Arms come straight up. You still with me? No, I'm finishing it up. All right. Four, three, two, let's go. Good. Keep your shoulders lifted but curled in. Right? So if I keep my chin more tucked in, I have a lot more support to the neck. Two sets there if you want to do a third set. 
Go for it. I'm going to hold it right here, nice extension to those arms. Let your head just come down to the mat. Good work. From here, we're going to come all the way forward, lower those hips, rolling the shoulders down your spine. Ah, oh, how was that? You did a phenomenal job. You should be proud of yourself. This is amazing. You know, people always ask me, like, should I be working every day out? Should I be doing it every other day? Um, really, truly depends on your energy level, right? I'm going to take one arm across. So usually we know if we're overtraining and it's too much, if we just don't feel like going to do the exercises, um, or if you're really fatiguing through it, right? Like where we kind of go on, okay, I really I have nothing left, like 10 minutes in, I'm just exhausted. Right? Or you can't get up in the morning and you're completely exhausted. So maybe your body needs a little bit of an extra break. Okay? So keep remembering that and really gauging your body's needs. Hands go behind. We're going to all open up the chest. So taking an extra day off sometimes is not a bad idea. Um, and it can be an active day where you're still going to go for a walk. You're still going to do some stretching. But maybe you're going to pull back a little bit on that vigorous stuff. Right? Um, I'm all for activity every day, but the truth of the matter is we sometimes really truly have to listen to our body's needs. And that's kind of what's for eating too. If you're not hungry, why are you eating? Right? So it's the same thing. So your body will tell you what it needs us, and so in exercising it's usually the other way, it's going to tell you what it needs to rest. Roll those shoulders out. Good work. I'm going to take one foot forward, lunging into it, stretching those quads out, stretching those hip flexors out. And again, we never have enough time to stretch. Right? On the other side. So make sure. I always try to give you all the vigorous stuff in that 45 minutes, but then maybe spend an extra additional five minutes of your own time and just get your stretching in. Right? All that good stuff. And release. Good job. You did it. My name is Sonia Benizi from Success Fitness. Um, thank you for joining me today. Make sure you do some more stretching, hydrate, get some protein in you, and uh, we will see you tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, for um, core conditioning, stretching, and also some um, combination of uh, cardio kickboxing and strengthening. All right, so we'll see you on the weekend. And then, of course, we have a whole new schedule for June and similar varieties, and but it's always something new. You never know what you get with me, right? All right, so thank you for joining me, and thanks to Rome Roads Recreation Center for sponsoring some of these classes, and we will see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic weekend.